Looking at how the same species of freshwater fish came to populate lakes and bodies of water, sometimes separated by thousands of miles. North America has more than 1,500 different species of freshwater fish, but how did the same species come to populate many of a country's same lakes that are seemingly not connected in any way? The answer could be one of many causes. It's easy to see that Earth is covered in mostly water, but just 4% of that is freshwater. Less than 1% of that is surface accessible. Most is found in the Earth's ice caps and below ground in an area's water table. That leaves less than 1% to make up the streams, rivers, and lakes that hold these fish. So how did they get there? Looking at the Earth, you can see that it is made up of thousands of small lakes with a few of the larger lakes mixed in, such as the Great Lakes. Bodies of water are interconnected in one way or the other, or at least they have been in the past. This accounts for most of the dispersion of a fish species on the planet. Many species of freshwater fish need rivers or moving water to even spawn. There are several theories on how some species cover such a large geographical area. For instance, some experts believe 3 million to 250,000 years ago, most of North America had a climate that was much wetter than today. When an arid climate swept through much of North America, large lakes dried up and separated into smaller ones. This left fish species isolated in the diminished lakes. Species such as the white crappie are found coast to coast in the United States. Another is coined as the dispersal theory. Given enough time and enough freak events, allow new species to populate areas where they had previously not been able to access. An example would be a year with flooding. A body of water floods, allowing the species to transfer out of one lake to the next, and so on and so forth. This could have happened thousands of times over millions of years each time distributing new species into its surrounding lakes, pushing a species further and further. In fish species, one female and one male are usually all it takes to populate a new body of water. While in most countries it is illegal to transfer a fish into another body of water, man has been moving species to new areas to suit their needs for thousands of years. Perhaps moving a species of fish from one body of water to a closer one to their home or city essentially stocking a pond for future harvest of meat. So in some cases, man may be the cause of why a species not native to an area is found. The Asian carp is often called the worst fish in America, first brought to America in 1960 by scientists. As mentioned before, thanks to flooding, some carp escaped, and this non-native species was able to take over the surrounding areas. Asian carp are a threat to any body of water they are able to get into. What do you think? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos to expand your knowledge.